worst possible case scenario happened. This chiller bundle for How's it going HVACers? Episode 3 of the vlog coming to you. So it's going to be kind of a different week, a little bit of a challenging week. We've had all this really bad weather pushed through and uh, today is Monday and we have had to close the office for today. Um, you know, it was really bad in the last week. You know, I busted my butt last week. All that good jazz went down. Uh, still feels great by the way, but we have more weather kind of coming in and out over the next day or two. The roads are not really passable right now. We don't have an infrastructure to account for this kind of snow and ice and weather. So you're talking to uh, mine and the wife's parents. Uh, it's been since the, the early 80s since we've had a cold and a snow and anything at all even remotely close to this. So this is something that's pretty rare to come through and happen here in Texas. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see where it happens. We'll see where it goes. So I don't know that I mentioned it, but we did have to evacuate our trailer. Thankfully, we did have a friend that was able to take us in for a couple of nights. The sun is super bright and, uh, you know, give us some shelter. All of our water froze, everything we had. Uh, we were kind of low on propane. It just wasn't going to be a good environment for, you know, Abigail and We've got Kate on the way. It just, it just wasn't gonna work out. So, gum, it is cold. Uh, this property, we've got lots of busted lines on the cooling towers. Uh, we're trying to get the bundles inspected now. It's not, uh, not looking too good. They completely shut down pumps, everything, because the power being lost. So, uh, lots of repairs here already. Right now, everybody's just wanting to know just how bad is it, because nobody knows anything. I, I, wait for someone to save. Oh, that coupling come apart. Yeah. At least it's free spinning now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my thinking was that the water must have froze up or something. And then... That's exactly what I'm thinking. I think this, I think you're right. Oh. Uh, that's, an, that's, that's an air bleeder. Wow, wow, wow. So one of the things we need to do is we need to find a valve somewhere, like right here, actually. We need to try to get that open to see if we get liquid out. So if, if we're still liquid, we could try to get the loop flowing. Uh, if, if, we don't, if we don't have solid liquid through and through, I mean, there's nothing we can do. Uh -oh. Ouch. I'm worried this valve may be frozen. Yeah, it it, it was kind of stiff at first and then it budged a, just a little bit. And then it just it bound up. And I could, if I force it, I could get it to move some, but I feel pressure against me. So I'm really, I'm, I'm fairly confident that valve's frozen, which means this loop has ice. I mean, this down. Part of what he's, got to understand is he's probably not going to know the full extent of the damage until all of this gets thawed 
and we can run the loop for a little bit. Go ahead and go through the air handlers to see if anything stands out to you. Pay attention to the condensate lines. Okay. See if there's anything flowing. Mm. The real hope is that it did not freeze inside those barrels. Because then we start a whole another conversation. Mm. Well, I turned the camera off too soon. As I was trying to walk off the roof, I ended up slipping and busting it again. But anyway, this one's not as bad. Uh, we've definitely got other properties that are hit much harder. So anyway, I'm pulling out of this one. I'm going to move on to the next one. And uh, I need I just need to get there so I can see see what they see and, and go from there. Howdy, Holden. Howdy. So we got a bunch of PVC coupling. Oh, wow. We need to get this back together. I mean, I'll, it's... I just need to get it done. Okay. Hopefully, all this will start thawing enough that by the time you're finishing with repairs... We'll find more problems. The building. Right, because that's going to be the next step is you've now got to go back through and purge all these lines. For every water for people. The customer is gonna proceed with repairs on this. And more than likely from the way things look, we'll probably start repairs on that first building we went to as well. Now, everybody was completely closed this morning on the way in. So I did not get any breakfast. I didn't get anything. We did have a midwife appointment today. Uh, wife will be 39 weeks next week. Uh, let's go get some sort of lunch and then move on from there. Well, we're doing another walkthrough on a building. They were having several issues. They had a bunch of pipe trees. It looks like the main loop, maybe where it goes underground, possibly froze because we've been flowing major makeup water through this valve and it's still just busting it out. It should not be doing that, that at this point. It's had more than enough time to do its job, so. Well, that property's in rough shape. We gotta find, find that uh, uh, damaged pipe some, somehow down in the ground. And, but this building's completely down on air now because of it. In town, there's a boil water notice, and uh, I had to settle for a starbucks canned nitro because that's literally all they had and i didn't have time to stop anywhere else i feel exhausted right now just anyway oh it's been a stressful few uh, several days it's been stressful several days anyway at least i got breakfast out of it this canned nitro brew is much better than nothing at all my phone's also freaking out. It keeps resetting. I have no idea what's going on with it. Anyway, let's move on. Woo! Issue here with a whole bunch of air in the line and then it can't pinpoint a leak. They went through all six. No flow at all on the drain. We didn't see any flow. Uh... Not even on the drain, the drain itself. We're just gonna let that run for a minute. The worst possible case scenario happened. This chiller bundle froze. And it's just straight water shooting out. You can also see water over here inside the sight glass. That is all strictly refrigerant pressure. We've got the makeup water shut off and the pumps are not running. That's how much pressure, and it's been bleeding like that for a couple of, or for about a solid hour, non-stop bleeding. And it's still going with that much pressure on this loop. Bad, bad, bad. We got a scope, piping scope. So we found one here at Home Depot. 
tomorrow morning we'll get over there and get it get it scoped and see if we can find that leak see what it's gonna take to get it replaced I will start episode four with this snake or the camera scoping thing. Yeah, that. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hope you enjoyed it, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.